Hey, in this video, I'm going to go through the build of this seed rack. And I put this together maybe six weeks ago and it's just done phenomenal. I don't have a whole lot in it right now. I just took out a lot of the stuff that was in here. I got some carambola there sprouting up from seed. A whole bunch of goji fruit. Kind of see them through the lights there. And then I got a new tray that's got a whole bunch of different stuff in it. I just put that in yesterday. But it's a really nice setup. It's pretty, it's very easy to build. It's fairly inexpensive. And it's just worked out really well. So I'll run through the build and in the show notes or the video notes, you'll see links to all the pieces and parts required to put this together. Okay, now we'll go through the assembly process for the seed starting rack. So the main components you're gonna need are the grow lights themselves. So this is a pack of six lights and I'm gonna do two lights per shelf and do three shelves of lights. I've got the garden rack. So this is like a self-contained kit. We'll build that up first. I'll need um, the reflective foil. So we're gonna wrap this around the rack, try to keep all the light contained within there. Uh, this, this light isn't necessarily good for everything else around it. A couple extra things. Gonna need a piece of half inch CPVC. This is optional, but I'm gonna use this to create the door and a little more support for the insulation around the back of the unit. I'm gonna use a T-square for cutting the insulation. Gonna need some uh, tie wraps, just like the normal eight inch tie wraps will do. This will be for attaching the insulation. Uh, I've got this chain here. Now I'm gonna use this. It's just a thin, very thin, it's called a jack chain. This is the number 16. So a couple dollars at uh, Walmart or whatever big box store. So I'm gonna use this to hang the lights. You could actually use the tie wraps or any other method for hanging the light. And a couple tools, a pipe cutter, a marker, I've got a pair of cutters, um, some needle nose, and that should be about it, just a little razor blade to cut the insulation with. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the rack, and then we will go through the assembly process for that. Okay, I've got all the rack components laid out around me now. Um, the rack comes with this cover, plastic cover, we're not going to use this, I'm not going to use it. So we'll just toss that aside. So we've got wire here for the racks. We've got these plastic shelf uh, parts, I guess you want to call it that. We got some long poles, we got some short poles, and then we have these two top pieces. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to assemble the shelves. So there's going to be four shelves. And to put them together, you just put these long poles into a shelf support. And then snap on the other end. Straighten her up a little bit. Make sure we're secure. So let me go ahead and uh, put together these four. I'll do that quickly. Okay, next thing, we're gonna uh, put these four shelves together, and then you'll see when we get to the top, we're gonna use these extra two pieces. So to put these together, just put in four verticals. And then snap a shelf on top, use your finger to kind of guide the post there. It's pretty easy to do though. Most of them. All right, so let me get the rest of those put on. Okay, now when we, um, when we wrap the, the foil around this, there's not really any back support here. So what I found is that half inch 
CPVC actually fits right in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece right at this width. So this step is completely optional, of course, but I found it makes, a, makes the unit a little stronger, makes it look a little nicer. So this is going to be the back. So there we go, a little extra brace. And then we have these two top pieces, which normally would hold the plastic up, but in our case, it's just providing a little extra support. Um, now all I'm going to do is lay these shelves on here. Maybe. Just a little better, again, only optional. I'm going to take a tie wrap right in the middle. And I'm going to tie the middle of this shelf right down to the support below it. So again, completely optional step, but it'll make things a little easier down the road. You won't have to worry about your shelf popping up. Try to keep the uh, bulky part of the tire out to the bottom. You can just rotate it down once you clip them. So, there we go. There's the main structure. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the lights. So let me get set up with that and we will continue on at that point. Okay, I've got all the lights unboxed. Um, I've just got one light here just to keep the clutter down. But let's go ahead and prep the lights, get them ready. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and attach these reflector shields. And you'll see they kinda of line up with a little slot in the light here. A little tricky sometimes. You just slide that on. And slide on the other side. You don't have to use the reflectors. It really cuts down on the amount of light getting out of the top. And it, it probably does help redirect some of the light down below. But anyways, so here's the light with the reflector attached. Uh, the other thing to get ready is, this is just what I do. I just dump out these little hardware bags. So this particular bag has two hanging clips so I'm just gonna put them in this little container here. It has this, uh, this is for joining two lights together. We don't need that. We will need a couple of these end caps. They also include these little anchors with screws. We're not gonna need those at all. So we'll just toss all those aside. And I'll just go ahead and empty this hardware into this little container. Just makes it a little easier. I'm not having to fumble with it later on. So just dump it all in there. And then the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get the chains ready. So these are the hanging chains. That one was stubborn. You can see they include a lot of hardware parts and pieces. All these lighter colored tie wraps came with the lights. But if you want with my suggestion and you're using this chain, Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do uh, two pieces of chain per light and two hangers per light. For the hanger, just open up the chain or a link. So we've got a double open link here. This is, we're gonna use this to hang the chain. And we're gonna make this chain adjustable so that we can raise and lower the lights. And then you're gonna take eight links. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Take off eight links. 
and then attach it to these light hangers. Go ahead and put it on there and close this back up. So that's on there, good and secure. So there's 12 of these hangers, so we gotta do this 12 times total. And we're gonna need 12 of these little clips. So I will go ahead and do that off camera. It's uh, not too exciting to watch. And then when I'm done with that, we will be ready to mount these lights. Okay, what we're gonna do now is go through the process of hanging a uh, shelf of these lights. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little clip that um, it's just a, a link of the chain that's been opened up. I'm gonna count over, so one, two, three, I'm on the third part of the shelf here, the third um, piece of wire. And going in about the middle, uh, as far as between here and the centerpiece, and I'm just hanging that clip there and go ahead and tighten the clip over the shelf piece there. So again, one, two, three. I'm gonna go over the middle here. Again, this is just to keep it from sliding around. And I'll clip that on there. I'm gonna take one of the lights. So I've got these hangers. I'm gonna snap it on the light and give it a little, give it a little tug. Make sure it's actually clipped on there pretty good. Clip it on the other side. Again, just a little tug. And that's really it. I'm gonna let them hang down low for now. Okay, that one I need to open up a little more. So let me do that. So I'm just gonna hang it off the end of the chain and you'll see the light hangs down pretty low at that setting. That's so we can get it close to the, close to the seedling when we're starting. And then as you need to raise the light, you can just go up. Here, I'll go on the fourth one there. It's, it's easy to do and it's easy to make sure it's level because both sides are the same. So, and then of course you can go just a little bit higher if you want to. So that's a good sturdy hanging method. Now, the, um, the chain links I had you go ahead and take out, that is to do the bottom three shelves. Uh, my particular setup, I did, I did the two shelves here and then I did one in the top section. So let me um, raise the camera up and then I'll show you how to do that top section if you wanna set up a light there. Okay, so the top isn't, isn't very complicated. What you're gonna need to do though is uh, go ahead and get 10 links of chain, or actually nine, make it nine links. You could do 10, but do nine so you can get it up a little higher. Go ahead and open both ends. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap around and connect the first eight together. It's a little tight, but as soon as you get them together, you'll see that they, it works out well. And what we end up with is the hook hanging right here. You can rotate it around, kind of get that hook in that position. side going here. Same thing, nine links, basically eight around and then one to hang down. Again, it's a little tight, but it works. Tighten it up. Okay, and then just like before, hangers on the light this one will probably be a little more towards the outer side of it so again make sure it's good and tight snap on the other side oh by the way these lights have a, a thin protective film on there make sure you get that off there it's just a piece of plastic but anyways so now I can hang these you can just slide them to where you think they need to be so just like before, you can raise it and lower it. I'll go four links here. Go 
just kind of put it in the middle as a starting position. And I'll leave it at that four link, or I'll call the middle position. So when we do the wiring, it's, it's based on that. It'll get, have a little give either way. I'm gonna go ahead and hang all the lights. So I got four more to do. I'm, okay, I'm gonna do two at the top, and then I'll do two shelves below it. I'm gonna leave the bottom shelf as uh, more or less either storage or just a place for um, the seeds to sprout where they don't need light. So let me get those lights hung up and then we will come back and wire them up. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is start hooking up the lights. And you can see I've got all these lights installed and I put them, again, I put them on the fourth uh, piece of chain here to, to put them in the middle. That way, when you wire them, you want the wire, the wire's gonna have to flex. So if we start in the middle, and just allow some room to go up and down, it'll work out nicely. And the way I'm wiring it is I'm gonna have three separate switches. So one for each shelf, and I think that's the best way. There might be times when you're not using one of the shelves and you just wanna leave it turned off. And what we do is, we're gonna do what's called daisy chaining. So basically the output power is gonna come through one and we're gonna feed it to the next one on the same shelf. Now I'm gonna put my switches on the right side so we're gonna put the daisy chain cable, and these are the wires that came with the lights. I'm gonna put these on the left. So it's very simple. All you're gonna do is plug the cable into one of the lights. Now to get rid of the slack, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it around this support. Just kind of loosely. So let's go, I'll go four times, kind of keep two on each side there, and then bring it right back into this light. So I'm gonna unclip this, and what you'll see is, because of the way this wire is, you know, this light can go up and down without any problem. And that's what we want. We don't wanna put wires super tight in here. So that's one simple way to do it. Again, I just looped it around there four times. I'll do one more shelf here just to demonstrate. So just come out of one of the lights. However you want to come around here. Again, four turns seems to work pretty good. And I'm, I'm just coiling it the same way that the other one's coiled just to make it look nice, be consistent. That's two, three, four and right back into this light. If you wanted to, you could tie wrap this up tighter and all that, but I don't really see the need to do that. So I will do the third shelf and then I'm gonna flip this around and I'll show you how to wire the other side with the switches. Okay, here we've got the right side of the rack. So this is where my switches are gonna go. So this is facing the front. This will be the front here. So what I'm gonna do I want each switch to be near the shelf, the shelf it controls. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie wrap a switch right here. And I'll do this for each shelf. So I'll put a couple on the cord here. Don't put it too close to the switch. You don't want to pull it out of there. Just give it maybe a half, maybe three quarter inch and then just tie, tie that on there. So now I know this switch is gonna control that shelf. I'm gonna take this wire, and again, just like before, just get some of the slack out of there. Go over one or two times, bring that into the light. Maybe, there we go. Check your orientation. Uh, this extra cord for now, I'm just gonna leave this laying once I get an extension cord or a, a T or whatever, I'll, I'll clean that up. So let me clean up these. And then one other thing to do is with all those parts, you got this little tiny piece like that that came with the lights. You wanna go ahead and snap that in to this open connection. So otherwise that's a hot connection. We don't wanna get shocked especially with all the moisture and stuff that's gonna be around. So there we go, I've got my switch. I'm gonna go ahead and do that two more times for the other two shelves. And then at that point, we're ready to start wrapping the insulation around here. So 
I'll go ahead and do those switches and get set up, and then we will complete the project. Okay, we're getting there. Almost done. Let's go ahead and uh, work with the installation now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and unwrap this and bring it around. Just, um, oh, so it's just a little bit around that, that piece of uh, support material there. Let that be real tight, just to get an idea. Go ahead and mark this spot here. And I'm going to cut this. Now, I'm going to use a, a square to cut this. If you don't have a square, you can basically just lay this out on the ground and measure you know, how far up you are on this one side, and then make the same measurement and just use a straight edge to cut. But I've got this T-square, so I'm going to use this. This stuff's really easy to cut. I'm just using a little single-edge razor blade. You might not want to cut your garage floor. Mine's taking a lot of abuse. Separate that. Now, let's put this around. I'm going to use a small screwdriver, just a little Phillips to poke holes in it, and have some tie wraps handy. Actually, I'll use my needle nose, they're a little sharper. Got some tie wraps handy there. I'm going to double check. Yep, that looks good. And just start wherever you're comfortable. I'm going to just put a hole right here. Bring a tie wrap around that. I tried using tape on a previous one and it just didn't hold up. So tie wrap's the way to go. Don't need to go very tight. Once you get this first one up, it comes a little easier. Make sure you're pretty level here. You can align it up along these um, along the shelf supports to make sure you're straight. So get that first one straight and you'll be in good shape. The hole. So you can see, there's just two tie wraps on here. It's pretty much staying on. So what I'm going to do is slide down a little bit here. So that's because this tie wrap is below that shelf support. So the next one here, I will put it right above the shelf support, and I'll keep it from sliding down. And I'm going to put a tie wrap basically at each shelf support. And I'll put um, probably two along the back, maybe three along the back here. That'll be all we need. This stuff stays on pretty good. So um, let me uh, go ahead and do that. I'll speed up the video while I get that done. So there we go. Looks really good. So I'm gonna build a door, uh, kind of loosely call it a door, and uh, we'll go ahead and um, hook the uh, 
cords up together. I'll show you how I hung that on the other one. And then we'll test it out. But we're almost done. It's looking really good. Okay, we've got the rack uh, pretty much built out now. Uh, I'm gonna build a door. And to do this, first step is grab the uh, reflective insulation here and measure it out to extend maybe a half an inch, three quarter inch on each side. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna mark that. And then I'll go ahead and cut this. Come back to that. What we also need to do is take a piece of the PVC or CPVC. And you're going to make this a little wider than the top here. So you can go right behind it. Again, extend this out a little beyond these two supports here. So maybe half an inch on each side. So I'll go ahead and cut that. Put that up there. And I will cut this and then we will come right back and finish up. Okay, I've got this piece of insulation here cut. Now, all we're gonna do, we're gonna tie wrap this onto this piece of pipe. Just get one on there, and then you can center it, make sure it looks good. Now don't go too far over on this one, leave a couple inches. So I'll tell you what, let's do, let's just do three of them here. pieces off. And the last thing to do is cut the corners off. Maybe an inch and a half or so. And there we go. So you just slide that in there like that. Now over time, this will flatten itself out. But for now, it, it, um, you see it makes a nice cover. It's easy to take on and off. If it's not easy enough, you can trim this pipe down just a little shorter, but you don't want to make it too small. When you put it on here, just, just flop it over like that. And again, over time, this will just mold itself to that shape. So there we go. Seed starting rack complete. Okay, one last thing to add here. I went ahead and put a uh, cord connector on here. And what I did is I ran a tie wrap around through the insulation and actually just goes around one of the shelf supports. You can see it right there. So that just holds that up in place. And then I just plug an extension cord in there and everything's hot now. So turn the switch on. Everything looks good. So there we have it. Seed rack number two, ready to go.